Hey, uh, what's up, um, everybody? Mm, I hope you all are having a great day. You know, mm, and you know, some sad news, man. This is something I got. I got words for the day. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get copyrighted, but um, guys. Have you heard about um, the Jerry Springer news? Because the Jerry Springer, um, uh, unfortunately, man, my man Jerry Springer, he passed away yesterday morning. So I was wondering if it was something you guys might have gotten me to because a guy like Jerry Springer, man, and Jerry Springer, he seemed like a genuine dude. Like a genuine. He seems very genuine. Because. And I did make a community post too. If you want to check it out. Let, let me know your thoughts too. Because. I have been getting views on this channel. But. I've been grinding. Making sure y'all keep up to date. But. I made a video this, not not a video this morning, but I made a community post this morning, and I want to see what you guys think on like the Jerry Springer situation. Go check out this community post, no, and go go check out my main channel and um, Mr. Sauce God. Before we get into this, man. So we're going to get into this real quick. Cool. Yesterday, man, yesterday, you know, talking about this topic, man, like, when I talked about this topic last yesterday, I could not even help it, but, you know, talk about it in a, um, a laid-back tone. You know, not that I didn't care, but it's like, I was just in denial. Like, literally, you know, just hearing about Jerry Springer's passing yesterday. And unfortunately, I think, unfortunately, the reason why he passed away yesterday was because of, um, they this disease called pancreatic, pancreatic cancer. So I think that's, that had something to do with, like, the pancreas or something like that, the pancreas. And maybe it got an infection, and it um, turned into pancreatic cancer. I don't think I really heard of pancreatic cancer before. Maybe. Yeah, y'all could tell me more detail to that, but... that I think that was the main cause of his death that he was diagnosed with, which is the reason for his passing yesterday. It was sad to hear, too, like, Jerry Springer, man, like, you would never think, you know, him particularly, him particularly passing like that. That that's definitely sad news. Like, him particularly. Some some people like. It's like you you would never think. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace to him, man. You would never think Kobe Bryant. As young as he was, you would never think. Of him passing away. Just like that. Because, you know, Kobe Bryant, man, a lot of people, you know, when he was still living, of course, people knew about him, but, you know, he created a legacy that not many people noticed until he was gone. So it's like, you know, seeing a guy like Jerry Springer, Kobe Bryant, who else died young? 
at, well, X, he um passed away. Yeah. You will never think those people you know will pass away, but you never know, man. You never know. But their legacy, I would say, what I noticed over the years is the legacy really isn't praised or realized until then the grave. And that's real stuff, man. Like I said, to see, but that's just how people naturally work. Like, you know, they're saying, like, you never know how much something is until it's, like, gone. You never know how much something is worth until it's gone, man. So it's like Jerry Springer... I know the dude, definitely. You know, I watch him from time to time. Because, you know, I like the, um, the drama, the drama audience stand-up shows. And for real, drama is one of the best sellers. Drama, for any, it doesn't matter what sports it is. If you got just a tank of, a tank, a tank of drama, I don't even know if that's a word, tank. If you got just a tank of drama. Oh, that's a rapper. If you got just a little eeny meeny, you know, piece of drama on your, um, whatever industry you're in, like football industry, basketball, whatever, people are going to tune into that. Because people like drama. If it's drama, just like the Will Smith slap, slap, that's drama. That video got 100 million views. You know, something like that is going to sell and definitely going to be, you know, more eyes on it than, you know, just your normal video. If it's boring, they they just, you know, emotional or whatever. They're not really throwing hands or anything like that. You know, people aren't really going to look at it. And I'm, I'm that kind of guy, too. Like, I, of course, it's no secret I love drama. I definitely love drama, man, because drama is the best seller. Drama, drama is the best seller, you know, to keep an audience, keep their eyes focused on that show to keep the eyes focused on the five stars and keep them five stars a thing for down the line. It's love. It's definitely good for your ratings. It's healthy for your ratings when you have drama. Not everybody likes drama, but what you don't understand is it's entertainment at the end of the day. This is the internet, man. Entertainment. So any drama you see, man, you know, you know, always it's always good to know like the background behind the drama because a lot of the times too, you never know. It may it may actually be a real situation. I can get a backstory on like what actually goes on behind the scenes because it's like what goes on behind the scenes of the show, I would say, is it might actually be a skit. They may play a skit. Or maybe sometimes it's real. You never know what drama. It could be real. It could be staged. Maybe it's all just a play, you know, to get the fans laugh. Maybe it's all just a, um, putting on an act in the strongest way possible so you can maintain your composure so that it really feels like a real thing, like real heat, real beef. You got to keep your composure, man, because I noticed that on the, on the shows over the years, even Steve Wilco's. I heard from my man, um, 
the cry, the Dan Damien cry, the, the the cryer family. One of the YouTubers I watch, go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel, but and his video too, because he did a video about it last night. But I think he said that Steve Wilkos used to work with Jerry Springer. And that must have been like the early 2000s when he really, or I guess the 90s going into the 2000s. And then Steve Wilkos got his own show. And he started doing what he did. I'm not sure if he's still doing it now. And I'm, I'm, I, I was just watching Steve Wilkos too, like this channel on TV. I think it's MTV or whatever. One of those channels, you can actually find it. You know, his show on there may come on, like, maybe five days a week or so. I don't really notice it on a week, weekend. I only see it on the weekdays. But maybe that's just me. It probably does come on the weekends. I just fall asleep to it. But I think Steve Wilco's show, he's been running his show for... How long has Steve Wilco been running his show? So 15, so almost 16 years, basically, so September 2007. So at that time, too, you know, I used to watch drama shows a lot because I used to be really in a, into, you know, the shows. And over time, I kind of, you know, laxed on it a bit. But I still watch from time to time. You know, Steve Wilkos, he's a very content dude, you know. He's very mature, I can tell, and you know, he's good at keeping his composure. He he's not a guy that would fold easy, I don't think. But you know, I used to watch his show, and this show used to crack me up just as much as, pretty much the same as Jerry Springer, man. Like seriously, a lot of those episodes I may see now they. Like, the quality on them, it looks like it's from, like, 10 years ago, but it's probably actually recent than that. Because a lot of these shows now, like, drama TV shows, the quality doesn't look as good on TV, but, or it looks like it was made 10 years ago, but you find out it's probably during 2023. And they just haven't improved the quality on it. Maybe it's just me that notices that. Maybe they need a um a graphics update, whatever, HD update, whatever. But this is about Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer, you know, I think he was seventy nine when he passed away yesterday. Jerry Springer, I obviously used to watch his show too. Not not as not as much. But, you know, I dug into it a, a deep bit. I see it every once in a while, still on TV. And it's like, pretty much all of his episodes, I never saw one bad skit that they um directed. And I found out, too, somebody said he was the mayor of Cincinnati, as you see on my screen there. So he was the mayor of Cincinnati. So, which I actually never knew, man. Like, even though I never knew he was the mayor of Cincinnati. If y'all live in Cincinnati, let me know. But I never knew that. But I think he, he made his show like 30 years ago. If I'm not mistaken, Jerry Springer, he, because around the 90s at that time, pretty much, it, like, drama TV shows, like, where you had the audience sitting in the front, you had the two people, or you have a few people, they put on a little, they put on a little act to where they're going against each other, and it feels real and authentic, like, authentic heat, 
against one another. And it's like Jerry Springer just watching them in the middle, you know, to see how the act goes, see if they did good or not. And, you know, they act, and they act as if it were a real relationship. Or pretty much anything, man. It was pretty much anything, but it still involved the drama and, you know, feelings. And I think Jerry Springer, he probably couldn't even help but nod, nod his head and laugh at it, bro, because these people are very funny on the show, too. And drama, like, back in those days in the 90s, it wasn't really as popular until the late 90s. Because nobody was really doing it. You didn't really see any shows like the 80s. I could say Johnny Carson. He never really did drama. He was just a comedian. But that was nowhere near close to what Jerry Springer, you know, kind of invented and pushed over the years, you know, going into the 2000s. I think that's when it started becoming popular. Jerry Springer. And I think he's an inspiration for why Steve Wilkos started his show back in 2007 because this was 16 years before Steve Wilkos did it. But Jerry Springer's, I don't know too much on his backstory. I never really looked into that, like his backstory, but I think he might have grew up in Chicago. Somewhere in Illinois. And it says he was raised in Queens, New York City. So we'll get some backstory. I actually never knew he was married, too. Because, you know, I stopped watching, you know, his show, like, frequently. I, I would stop watching his show 2014, so it's been a while. But I still tune in every now and then. Because it's just iconic. But. Yeah, I never knew he made any TV shows. Let me know, guys, too. Give me some, you know. Backstory on Jerry Springer. Because. I never really knew he made any movies. Let me know, see if y'all knew about that. Because I know he appeared on a couple shows, but I never saw his movies. And I obviously saw Judge Jerry. If y'all want the link to that channel to Judge Jerry, I'll send a link to all of his channels. Go sub to it in case this um, gets any views. Could go look at that channel and you know just send your condolences to Jerry man. That this is just this is just crazy to see him going like that. Like cause one of these um one of the light skinned girls I know. She um got it from a friend. And then she she was like and I think that friend she said. Jerry Springer passed away. And she was mind blown herself. And then I started to get mind blown. But I felt denial at the time. And that was yesterday morning when I heard about it. Like I was in pure denial. And just a laid back tone. You know, hearing about it. Jerry Springer. And I, I was like, Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. Gone. Jerry Springer gone. This is no way. Uh, then when I googled that stuff, it was no joke at all. It was no joke at all. But yeah. So he was born in London, not Chicago. Oh, he passed away in Chicago. 
he passed away in Chicago last night, so passed away in Chicago. I don't wanna make the video too long. Fifty six mayor, Cincinnati. Nineteen seventy seven. Did y'all know this guys? Jerry Springer probably done a lot behind the scenes I didn't know about myself because I never really got into, you know, Jerry Springer's, you know, whole bio, like his whole biography like that. But I know in the 90s, too, and even on the 90s, too, before he made a show or and then after he made a show, like people, people would just brush you know, brush him off over the fact that he even started his own show and made drama what it is today. Because to be honest, a lot of this internet drama too, like it's a cycle. You know, it's inspired you from others. It could have been a drama show before Jerry Spring, I'm not sure. But I know all of this inspiration passed down to the next person, passed down to the next person, passed down to the next person. So, I heard people were trying to kick him off. They were trying to kick him off of TV because I guess at the time, two people just weren't used to and it just wasn't in style fully yet. So they didn't see the full potential it had, so they were just like, you know, Jerry Springer, he, they were just saying in their mind, Jerry Springer don't even deserve the spotlight for the drama shows. And to be honest with you, man, Jerry Springer is crazy, man. Because I'm like, why would you want to kick off a guy like Jerry Springer, man? I think back then people took this stuff even more seriously than they do now. Because like, like, it's sort of like video games, for instance. People take that. I throw, you know, I'll throw in some, a few examples in the video. This is no cuts. My full opinion. No. People people used to take video games seriously, like they would try to ban video games. Even ten years ago, like people tried to ban video games, they tried to, you know, cancel or they tried to cancel shows because it was too violent. But you don't really see canceling shows anymore because TV ratings are, are down in the gutter. Like if it was ten years ago though. When people still watch TV a bit. Because TV ratings are in the gutter. That's for real, but it's like video game, man. And, of course, people used to play video games on TV. They would actually try to ban that for, you know, parental advisory, I think. Parental advisory reasons. So, like, so kids were limited so they couldn't watch it. So, they actually took that stuff seriously back then. Now you don't even hear about it. Well, I guess cancel culture is, you know, the new form of it, like cancel culture. But they don't really focus on canceling shows now. Now it's just canceling people, you know, on the media. So, it's like canceling video games, man, because they thought. You know what that she had long term effects on the child. You know, was a dumb move. But you know that's how people, you know, looked at it back then. Now it's like it's a whole norm. You see all these video games out. You know, people playing video games at a young age. People watching all these shows, getting phones. And uh, and I will say though. Let's not go go off topic. Let's not go off topic, but that's sort of how like Jerry Spring is. They kind of canceled it because it just wasn't in full form yet. 
they didn't really understand the whole potential it had, you know, to be mainstream. They didn't really have the full potential yet back in the 90s, so people wanted it canceled. And they felt it probably wasn't even going to do good. Little did they know, it turned out to be a blessing. Jerry himself probably didn't expect. So, that's one thing I will say about my man Jerry, man. You know, rest in peace to his soul. You know, Jerry, man. You know, hopefully he was in good health, you know, taking care of himself. You know, after all this time. I think he ended his show. Mm, when did he? I know his show ended. Maybe he ended his show. Like, I'm going to say a couple years ago he ended his show. Because I haven't watched Jerry Springer like I used to in a long time. Like, I used to watch it every, almost every week. I just seen it for the drama. And just sit on the couch and watch it, but... I slowly start to watch it like that over the years. And, you know, I come across every now and then. But I think it ended a couple years ago for his TV show. So that's something I heard, you know, the the Jerry Springer show ended. I'm not sure why it ended, but it did end. So... Which is crazy, too. Because I, I believe, too, like, even though the ratings probably wouldn't be there because nobody's watching TV anymore. You know, everything's online now. Nobody's really watching TV. The The ratings are in the gutter right now. Like, they had been for a minute. So it's like nobody's really watching TV anymore. I don't think the ratings were really... Be like that. I don't think the raisin will really be up there. He might still get like a couple hundred thousand views, maybe ten thousand alone, maybe ten thousand every once in a while. Cause you know, at the at the certain sometime, you know, you start losing ratings and stuff on TV, and your TV is not getting any many ratings, so everything's online now, so that's why they had those YouTube channels to maintain, you know, the ratings that they used to get at a certain point in time, so it's like, yeah. But I bet now, even though people might, you know, because this is being talked about for the last day, People might start going to Jerry Springer more often and, you know, start seeing a backstory. Because it always happens, man. Like, every time, you know, that one popular celebrity passes away, people start jumping on it like ants. And, you know, just dig deep into it. And you can't blame him, though. You can't blame him because it's like, they may not be in a prime right now, but the legacy, the legacy is ever going. So it's like Jerry Springer, I think he himself, he created a legacy not just for himself, but like for other people to have so they could have the inspiration to start their own shows, to start their own skit slash drama plays and stuff like that, so it's a whole legacy involved with that, so legacies, his legacy is definitely going to be cemented, and you know, it's probably going to grow from this, you're going to start hearing more people talk about it now, people start revealing, you know, with, you know, what's really behind the scenes, what he's done, you know, his whole biography, stuff like that, so, when I say, you know, 
I would say it's good because he's not suffering anymore, but no, it's just sad because he's not here here with us anymore. So, but I feel like this benefits him because it lets his name, it adds value to his name. You know, him passing it adds value to his name. So his name is going to be, going to start being remembered. His name is going to start being put out there. He might even get shout outs for rewards now. His name gains value. Compared to, you know, when he was living, his name probably, you know, was starting, you know, was starting to fade off. People weren't really watching as much as they used to. But I feel like his name will start to get value at a certain point. And it's like people will really be more curious to see who he was as a human being. And he still gets views, obviously, on his channel. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace to Jeremy. He still gets views on his channel, which is good. You know, maybe not as many people are watching as they used to, but his name has value. His name, you know, his name will always have value. It would always hold value. So I think this could be beneficial to him and his family because it'll give the family name a rep and it'll give them, you know, something to remember him by because of his legacy, what he's done over the years. You know, he probably has a lot of backstory that has never been on a media, so that's the one thing I will say. It's just like, you know, WWE, man. I'm not even going to compare, but like certain wrestlers, after they pass away, you start hearing about them. You start seeing tributes, m memorials, you know. There's a whole documentary done done on them, cause after the, like after they pass away, it's like people really start digging deep into what they've been doing over the years, and they start going back to look at you know what they done. So it's like when they were living, maybe people were starting to get, you know kind of lose interest in, in them, and then after they passed away, it's like, damn, what was I missing out on? So, it's one thing I can say, man, you know, rest in peace to the great Jerry Springer. I sent a link to all his shows, because his shows are still entertaining. Even his old shows today, they're still pretty entertaining. They can end it a few years ago, but yeah. Anyway, guys, you know, Type the rest in, type of rest in peace in the chat. Comment down below. What's your thoughts? You know, like my community posts, and you know, just comment on. I really want to know what you guys think, cause I don't really get comments like that on the community posts. But I really want to know. What's your thoughts? What you genuinely think? You know, how much do you know Jerry as a person? And, you know, just send your condolences, man. You know, make the memory. You know, just, you know, just share your memories, man. You know, let them, let them, let the um, younger ones know about them. You know, keep his legacy alive, man. Keep his legacy alive. That's all I can say, but yeah.
guys hope you enjoyed the video check out my um my other channels where i saucy and sauce god or mr sauce god let me know you know how you feel about it and subscribe to this channel too make sure you check out my community posts i just posted it today i'll try to keep you guys updated on my main channel and yeah have a great day peace out and stay safe rest in peace to jerry prayers to the world peace